What is up guys, it's Soul Bash and we're jumping straight into it. This is a Forlorn Depths normal mode. Now this is a level 70 team instance and for this first part, pretty simple. You just have some trash mobs coming. So uh, most of the time for a normal one, I'd recommend just an autoplay right here. Uh, it's basically, basically you just have trash mobs coming at you and clear them out until the boss does arrive which the boss for this one is the leviathan and uh we're gonna also pull up some damage so you can actually see what kind of damage we're doing here this is the normal one as i said uh like i said level 70 is uh required for this and they recommend like 380,000 might for this um i'm pretty sure i was far less than this at the time that i did this one but basically keep the trash down once it's done you'll have the boss signal flash making you aware that the boss is coming and of course it comes down to strategy then all right the strategy that we use is right before the boss comes up we all go top left okay and you can sit there and well away on this guy but you're gonna get trash mobs okay there are three different sections to this map you have the top left you have the bottom middle and you have the bottom right I don't recommend venturing too much further down there if you're all in one spot because as you can see the boss is silenceable and yet there's still gonna be trash coming now the trash during the boss fight at this point you're gonna want to at least designate one person to stay back when trash does pop up and take that stuff out if not it's gonna get very annoying that stuff is gonna grab you and drag you back into it and those bubbles right there they're very very annoying as you see right here i barely squeezed by those two right there if you get caught inside those things they just annoy the crap out of you and stun you as you see i just wanted to take the trash out and basically that's what we did you see all the items drop there in the middle you still do receive them after it's over we got a victory three star on that and you get a pretty good bit of rewards just for rewards just for doing the normal one now we are going to look at this as well because this was the very first time that i did the normal one um i waited to level 71 to do it flip the card of course but you get rewards for doing these things you go into quests as you can see you get team instance eight reward get some four uh constitution pills and some diamonds which is not bad now we're going to take a look at the forlorn depths hard this one it's going to be a lot tougher uh level requirement for this is 70 just as the normal one but the might recommendation is another I want to say 40,000 more yes yeah, so it's uh, 420,000 might is recommended for this instance but you can do it before then if you know what you're doing now just the same as before on the normal one you're looking at doing the trash it's autoplay I mean uh, just take it out it's it's gonna take a little bit longer than the normal because they have more hit points but just keep moving and them tentacles they are the most annoying ones in this part so i'd recommend taking those out first but if you stay there in this one little section right here everything will come to you and you don't really have to too much worry about it see they're going to filter down to me and just auto play this section until the boss comes and then we're going to get into the strategy of how to take out the boss on f forlorn depths hard now I don't believe I did ever pull up the uh, damage for this one I was too focused on the fight itself because this does get a little hairy here at certain parts of it and as you can see the knockups and knockback stuns it's they're crazy in this one uh, this honestly for me has to be one of the most annoying fights that I've ever done now you see brace yourself boss is coming we are all gonna move up to the north the northwest part of the map and we're gonna stay here and as you can see they're gonna get a silence out on them pretty soon I believe it was and here comes the trash now this is the worst part about this map is the trash that comes with the boss the boss isn't too bad but once the trash starts coming 
they have so much more hit points and it's so much harder you definitely want to designate somebody to at least stay up there and keep that trash down if not they're going to be grabbing your guys away from the boss and they're just going to stun them as you can see here coming up in just a second uh, i'll show you exactly what i mean because it, it gets very very annoying we're going to leave that stuff at the bottoms the pets are down there uh, they hardly ever come up to the top unless you do actually spawn them from the top but watch this right here as i get drug in stuck in this bubble i'm trying to move can't move i'm stuck for a good four or five seconds i finally do get able to move bounce to the corner take that guy out right there and look at this i'm constantly taking damage stuck in the middle of the air what is going on this is the problem with this map you can get caught up in the air and if you don't have the hit points to take that damage it's gonna suck because you're gonna die now you're gonna want to bounce back and still try to keep that stuff down while doing damage to the boss so i alternated back and forth in between the two as you see, watch this guy. I believe he does stun you again right there. Yes, he does. And here it is. Another stun. You got the bubble surrounded you. Got to get out of there. You cannot stand inside that stuff or you will not make it very, very long. Uh, you see there's one bubble left right there. Another one coming in. And it seems like they somewhat attach themselves to the uh, the NPCs, the trash, at sometimes. And they move with them but I'm not specifically sure if they do do that. It's just all speculation. And I do venture down a little bit this way just to try to stay away from taking damage. Uh, just, just about back to full health. And yes, we are. We're gonna go back up, try to avoid these bubbles again. And of course, we're gonna get drug into one, I believe. Yes, we did. It ran right into us and if you don't take care of that stuff guys that's how annoying it could be sometimes you need help on that stuff and they bounce back um, for this map it looks like the third warrior that was with his dub he took a different path and went on the lower side with his pets and we stayed top left and it just gets a little crazy here at the end because we're just trying to down the boss we kind of just stop worrying about trash there at the end and if you do that that's when you start bouncing up and down you just get stunned all the time and luckily that one pet right there it went back took aggro on some of this stuff started doing damage and we were able to finish off the, the boss Le leviathan and that right there folks is forlorn depths hard if you have any questions any recommendations about this map it's really really fun uh, I've only one started two so far. Actually, I think I'll possibly two started since then. But you get a lot of rewards for doing this, guys. Like I said, any questions, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And of course, guys, always, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, check out the previous video I did when I was transformed into the gunslinger to begin with and went into doing PvP. And you can also check out this other video, which is gods of rome it's a pretty awesome game by game loft if you haven't checked it out guys download it and try it out it's free for android and ios and if you're not subscribed click on the youtube button right there and that will subscribe you to my channel for more awesome content like this as always guys like comment and subscribe you guys stay awesome and have a nice day